Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you a new recipe, a new way to cook I've never done. This is the first. Hello Fresh. And you all have seen it online. And you order your food. I did three meals for the week. Uh, three meals for three adults is what I did. And so the first one I'm going to try is chicken balsamic fig chicken I can't even say it today and they send you a picture of what it should look like and on the back is your recipe okay but look at this the ingredients come in a bag every meal has its own bag and the chicken so I've got chicken breast and I haven't opened the bag yet let's see what's in the bag this is so awesome. Okay. Oh my gosh. Broccoli. Broccoli. Oh my word. Look at this. Okay, this is the, is it, I should know what that is. Is it rosemary? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. This is rosemary. Okay, I thought it was. Okay. Oh my word, you won't even, you just won't even believe this bag. Potatoes and everything down in there. Can you see all that? So the little bottles, we've got a, this is so cute. Look, we've got a fig preserves. How about that? We've got, look at this bag, Dad. We've got um, balsamic vinegar right there. In the little bottle, see the broccoli came. We got rosemary, and we got our chicken, and then in here is spices. So this one is just chicken, reduced sodium. It's probably some kind of little broth they give us to cook, uh, season it. Oh no, an onion! Ah! I don't do onions, but they sent one. And then more vinegar, and then potatoes, more fig preserves. This is incredible, the way this comes. Oh, a lemon, a lemon. So, okay, onion, lemon, more onion, and then oodles of potatoes. Okay, so I'm getting ready to start the instructions, and you'll see from there. All right, we put a little bit of olive oil in our pan, and we're gonna take I let it run down through a little bit. A lot of people don't do that, I do. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on the pan because we're gonna place, cut and place potatoes in this pan. And uh, I do this, and so there's seasoning under the food as well as on the food. So, that'll help, okay. Now we're gonna cut our potatoes into small, it just says dice down into small pieces. So we'll cut them. You can cut them in squares, you can cut them in slices, it doesn't matter. This thing just says down into like half inch slices or pieces. So that'll work for me. And we're gonna bake these in the oven. So it takes a little bit of time. This Once I put them in the oven, it says put them in there for 22 to 25 minutes. So look at this. We're just gonna place Place the potatoes in the pan. See that? So, I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so the potatoes are all cut, diced, and in the pan. I put olive oil, salt, and pepper in with it, and it's ready for the oven. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. We're gonna put it for 22 to 25 minutes, and they'll be browned and tender. Okay, and it just says at 450, so let's see what happens. Here we go. Okay, so while the potatoes are in the oven, step two, prep and roast broccoli, okay? So it says, meanwhile, have, peel, and mince the shallot, the onion, and strip one teaspoon of rosemary leaves, from my rosemary, okay? And then two teaspoons for four servings. Okay, well, 
discard the stems, and finally chop leaves. Zest and quarter a lemon, and cut the broccoli florets into one inch pieces. Toss on a baking sheet with drizzle of oil, salt, and pepper. Roast on the middle rack for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, here I go. So the rosemary is really getting chopped up here. This is kind of fun. Um, oh, does it ever smell good. Rosemary has a beautiful, beautiful odor scent. Oh, so fresh. So it just says we want um, one, tea, one teaspoon. So believe me, I've got way more than enough rosemary here to do this. So we're gonna put one teaspoon, two teaspoons for four servings. I've got three servings supposedly. So we're just gonna take this. We're going to sprinkle her in all around like this. Just place it through the broccoli all around. And it's just to, just to season it. A little bit of seasoning like so. I've got one stem left. I could go ahead and do it, but I think they just sent uh, a set amount. Okay, so then salt and pepper a little bit. And I don't like onions, so I'm using onion powder. I'm not going to cut an onion. We have onion powder. And, boy, this is quite the recipe. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil now. That's our last step. Drizzle it. Just throw it on there. And then I take my knife and mix it up just a tad in there like so. You can actually add a little bit more if you want at that point. Because uh, that's what's going to really roast it nice. I would assume you could do this in the air fryer, but I'm going to do it exactly as this calls since I've never used their recipes before this. I want to make sure I do it just right. All right, so this goes in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Here we go. All right, now we're to the point of uh, sauteing the chicken, and I have to open it and prepare it. So I'm gonna cut the bottom of this little bag. Do it where I can wipe all this juice up. Okay, hang on. Rinse it out. All right, so I'm gonna pat dry. I just rinsed it lightly, and then we're going to lay it in the pan. Ellie, what you have, baby? We'll open this one and do the same thing. Open it over here. These are nice little chicken breasts. Okay. All right, we're laying them in the pan. A little bit of olive oil in there, that's all so far. And it says uh, add salt and pepper. So, get my salt and pepper. So we're going to do this five to seven minutes per side. I had to pour in the fig preserves. I'm making the sauce in the chicken, okay? Balsamic vinegar, fig preserves, that's in there. And the chicken is sauteing. So now after that, uh, a little bit of water, quarter cup of water. So let me get that in there. Okay, hold on. little bit of water. Okay, we're going to stir that around. I don't want to leave anything out, so I'm trying to read this thoroughly. I put the stock in there, chicken stock, concentrate. Uh, now we're going to add the balsamic vinegar. Got two jars of that. Okay, so now I'm going to pour the balsamic vinegar in, like so. See that? Okay, so I'm going to lay it down here. There we go. Those are really something how they do all that. Okay, so. Woo! 
Ooh, I smell it. Smell like these rings. Okay, so I'm stirring this all up. So we got the water, we got, I think everything's in, and we just let it thicken. Tablespoon of butter. Okay, so the butter is in. Stir all that like so. Let that melt down. And let it thicken. That's very cool. So this, uh, so far, as long as it tastes good, this is an amazing way to cook, getting this in the mail. All right, so I'm gonna let this finish. And once it's dipped on the plate, then you'll get a view. You will get a view because the rest of this looks scrumptious, I will show you. See all that? All right, I'll be back. All right, so the finished product, chicken, roasted potatoes, and roasted broccoli. We're going to have a taste test. Are you ready for this? So this is a real tender cut of meat. Just cut it with a fork. Get my broccoli, get my chicken. Oh, oh my word. Oh, oh y'all. Two thumbs up, ten toes up. Highly recommended by this dinner. Love it. So easy.